point out of the camera. We're gonna start again, start fresh. Yeah, yep, you hit it. All right, outlawed, close up on Jason. Scene one, take one. And action. You're not wrong. I came home one day from the office after a big day and then just sitting on my desk was the script, really. Um, it was called Edward and that's where it really all started from and then I sat down, I was like, what is what has Tim graced me with this time? And then I just started reading it and I'm like, by the time I got to the last page, I was blown away and I'm like, we have to make this. And then literally the next day I called Tim and said, hey Tim, there's a big competition coming up for my road reel. And I said, let's do it. Almost throw an arm over there. Yeah, yeah, and then that. You know what I mean? That's what we're doing. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Went back to Tim and we realized we had to shorten it down a lot. Then from there, me and Tim up late, then talking through characters, working out the characters. Hey Tim, what are you doing right now? Uh, putting the storyboards up. Quick sketches yeah. of the storyboards. Just of what the director wants for all his shots, and then I just go away and then bring back said storyboards. Yeah, so we'll talk about the actors. Mm. I think that process started when um, we got on board uh, and we started kind of really nut out what we wanted. Um, and Josh kind of said, Hey, like Josh had a strong vision, he knew exactly what he was looking for. And then I suppose that started the process mm. where we started looking for real key. Um, actors with the really we're looking for this specific look to yeah. fill that role. So we're here location scouting currently for our short film Outlawed. It's we're pretty lucky we've we've pretty much locked in the location. It's pretty good. What we've got here, I'll just take you through it. So basically, the film. This is where we're going to put the table and chairs, basically, and Rogers and his cops are going to come from this angle, we're going to talk, and then we're going to have Ned or Edward, as he's referred to come from through the forest. They're gonna have their little discussion here on the table. Um, so we're gonna get some camera moving back there, getting the wide. It's really about setting your 180 degree line and we had to make sure we had good depth behind them. So we've cleared a whole path, luckily down there. So it's gonna create nice depth. And we're just checking that the good old red can handle it. Funny enough, um, our main lead, Jason, he came to me for the role. In the middle of a burger bar, I was eating my burger. He came up to me and he's like, hey mate, how you been? Here it is. He showed me these photos he's done before, these shoots, and then I looked at him like, have you ever done an Irish accent before? And he said, no, but let's do this. I am the lucky person that gets to play Edward Kelly. It's gonna be awesome, I get to be Irish. Who, who like, always wanna be Irish. It's the most fun accent to do ever. Adam, who played Rogers, I've seen he's done a lot more stage production work, so I knew he'd probably be perfect for the more arrogant, up himself, over the top. I'm playing uh, Captain Rogers, the captain, obviously, so I'm the uh, main antagonist of the film, I believe. Just trying to get under Ned's skin a little bit. Oh, Edward's skin a little. Yeah, and then Alex, funny enough, he was on a Subway commercial. I am Jacobs, obviously Jacobs. He is the little young, up-and-coming rookie. Uh, in the Victorian police force, who captain dies tragically, and he's left in the lurch, sort of. Back in the 1800s, they still had very strong native accents to where they originally from, and Ned Kelly's family um, actually came from Ireland. Next stop, Azkaban. <laughs> Hi, my name's Chris. Um, I'm the producer on Outlawed. Um, we currently just did the coffee run for delicious coffees. God bless. <laughs> I can't say that because we're not sponsored, but YOLO. 
Um, and that was probably one of my bigger concerns was the accents. Um, and then watching the film set, being there on the day, seeing it all pan out, honestly, being blown away about how much these actors were just nailing these accents. Hi, I'm Ed Kelly. We're here on set at the latest Joshua Lincoln Films Project, Outlawed. This is the set. If you want to come take a walk, I'll show you my crib. As you can see over here, this is the bedroom where I lay my head at night. My other coat, my bag, a few pools. A little bit of a mess right now, but you know, well, I live in the bush. So with the whole concept and costumes, the way we went with it, uh, we looked at a lot of pictures of what Ned Kelly looked like mm. and a lot of research. I actually, actually sat down with my mum. <laughs> Long hours on Google Images. <laughs> Um, and then me and Tim looked at them, we weren't too happy with what we were finding from the era and everything 100%, so we go, let's kind of twist the era a bit. We came up with this finalised idea, mm -hmm. like you've got the holster on the angle, um, which is something they didn't do, but that was our own flair because we thought it was badass. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So, we're on the way to the art department costume slash costumes to meet with our good old Ian Sparks, the legend, who's worked on so much stuff, who's also agreed to do the costuming for our film. Um, so, we're on the way to check it out. Personally, for myself, when I heard Ian Sparks, when he came on board this whole vision and this film, um, I, that was when it just went neck level for me, when this whole thing just went, like, as brothers, we had worked on some things before, like, we worked on little projects, but we had never actually gone from start to finish you wrote the script, I directed the film, you came and ran the producing. We, and then when Chris turned around and said, Ian Sparks wants to meet up with us, he's interested in helping taking care of the art department and all the costumes on my film, I freaked out. He's done all the costume design for Beneath Hill 60. He's worked on movies of Wolverine, The, um, the Emperor. He's yeah. like been on so many movies and this man is the man. And his passion for film, it just gets you excited. Okay. Adam being frustrated and action. Move in, move in, move in, move in. Hold it, hold it. Look around, look around, Jordan, go. Ah! Right. Jordan, you got <laughs> Too much. <laughs> the look of the film and where I wanted to take it um, really came down to, started from what the gear we used. I was saying Sherlock Holmes meets the Wild Wild West. Uh, I'm Jordan Guys, I'm the cinematographer for it. We're just laying down the blocking now. We're seeing our camera angles. My goodness! <laughs> we got our hands on a red. Just doing some tests, you know, making sure it's the right camera for us. The majority of the film is actually just them sitting down at the table, bashing it out verbally at each other, having a go. And so we wanted to get really good, clear audio. So we actually um, managed to get our hands on our new Rode NTG3. And this mic was just able to like, boop, Cut out everything. Yeah. And like, things. we're hearing these planes fly overhead. We're looking at our sound guy, JP. We're looking at him going, are we rolling? And he's just giving us the nod. Sam, we're all good. And then we, I was actually personally blown away by that yeah. mic. Hey, my name is Jean Paul and I'm doing sound on Outlawed. And what we've got here is an NTG3 shotgun mic. And basically while um, the rest of the crew are on lunch, we're just going to be recording some foliage sounds. I edit on Final Cut 10. The old Roman numeral 10. One, two, three, hoo! <laughs> we also used actually a C100 um, for all the glide cam shots purely because we couldn't get a hold of anything to hold the red scarlet. Uh, my name is Jared, I did the score for Outlawed. Um, I got it at lunchtime actually. I saw the cut at lunchtime and I got to have it back to them by 8 o'clock so. Yeah, we're on a tight deadline, but we'll get there. Yeah, the sounds were really important for this because it had to remain inconspicuous and, you know, it had, I didn't want it to track from the dialogue at all. So yeah, it was a bit challenging, but it was good fun. So I hope you enjoyed our behind the scenes look at our new film, Outlawed. If you haven't seen it yet, click my brother's face here for a link to it. Um, otherwise, we'll see you next time. <laughs>